You have got the Pennsylvania to take a look at at some point, maybe a few others. So. What I'm going to do now is sit and perch for a short time with the loco going past me and just see where it's coming, the noise it's come from. You know, I'm not actually sure that's actually the motor. I mean, I keep saying it might be the motor, but I'm not totally sure that is the motor, you know. I think it's coming from the um, pickup wheels. Have a look. I'm just going to disconnect the carriage very gently. And then Holmey has done. Hear that squeak? And see how much power that's. It's basically picking up, so the power is constant. And I'll put it back on the wet rails just to nice and gently. And the other wheel here is both to here. I think there's a flywheel actually. Because when I put in the white rails nice and gently, because the front wheels here is also powered, you can hear it's really struggling for power. So, and I know this train, you know, I can feel this roughness on the bogey, but there's no, I mean, I think that's more to do with, I think that's the coaches, that some of the wheel on the coaches are just a little bit too tight. So I think I'll just have to just keep my eyes on it for now and see how it goes. But she's not really having too much problems. The more she um, runs, I think she's going to loosen that up. But she'll be of a sunny model to my collection for as long as I can keep her running looked after. I think she'll be a wonderful model to have for a collection piece on the, in the yard to run the running other locos on other days. I had took a picture of this logo and stuff on Twitter and Facebook and all that. So here she goes. You wonder what I'm doing, I'm just sitting here and like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't like show my face too regularly but sometimes I don't mind it. As I feel generally. Here comes the last 43 again. I'm good for the camera, but I'm keeping her running my leg in the other time sometimes. Here she comes again. Here she comes. And the smell of like a diesel engine, it smells quite cool. I don't like, I don't mind the smell of a diesel engine in real life, but some older ones can smell really bad, but the new ones smell alright. I think for now she's all right, so it'll be a bit, you know, not to take her to a pair place, but I think in time she's going to have to be done. I can't even not pull all the 350 out. I could pull all the 350 out for a full time if I want to, but I'm just going to get them on new one. And there's so many enjoying the watch my watching this light tag so much. Just try to enjoy watching it. <laughs> it doesn't happen too often, but I think I need to get it to enjoy the hobby a lot more. So I'm going to just head in the first place. 
this is not my first model, not the first premium one I've got in the collection, but this is my first Hornby being used, I have had in a long time. Have I got another fast point thing? I think I will. I might get this Interspire livery one if I can find somewhere with a good price to be second hand, but anything to find me it's not going to be worth the price for. Because it's basically still the 2008 model, it's just going to be really good. It's just going to have to add it to it. That's basically all it is. I do like this right side, so you do really look cool and awesome. Um, okay. And sometimes I can do a little bit too far to the front. When she's running, you can't better to really know it, so I don't watch that from it. Honestly, she was running smoothly and quiet, very quietly yesterday, but today she's not doing as quiet. Mm. Something new. I think he's done a flat service, you know, you're not going up or down. He probably would be um, a lot more faster, I think, but I think he's not. Yeah, in real life, they're with a top speed at about 150 miles per hour, but she's not seen to be limited. I think they need to be more scaled speed to make it a more fast thing, but for some reason this direction is not as fast. I need to be more sick, more quickly. That noise just got to try down through the village. We've got a fire light opposite to where we are. It means there's a lot of noise going on. Especially in the summertime. Hmm. Um. Do we have to get any spine from the airport? We do have that. Awesome. I'm not going to sit on the table. No, nope. I'm not sitting on the table at the moment. It's too messy. If it was sitting on the table, I would have got to sit on the table. I would have got to sit on the table. I would have got to sit on the table. But today I'm not sitting on the table. I do occasionally want to be sitting on my videos, but I'm not doing that at the moment. I've got too much to still be organising this way. I'm not going to be able to organise and all that. I'm going to do it for us. So I'm going to do it on this back hand. Not spooky, but you know, just really close up to the chain. Come me. There you go. There she I did get closer, but do I really want to? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I wouldn't say that very often, but it does. It does kind of look cool. There she comes. Yeah, there's something about this. This, this track is like bloop, bloop, bloop. I think this is when I had a lot of train train work. <laughs> Apparently, English is not my word today. English is not my thing. I've still got a lot of things to do on my lap, and I still. I'm very grateful and glad I got one. I know some people say to me, you've got to buy it. Not really, no. I mean, there's a lot of things that 
I would say the yes to, but for this particular train, no. Because there's a lot of trains out there, I would say there's a lot of things I love not buy. So compared to her, I mean, I would quite happy buying quite a few of them at the moment, but. I've got things to need to organise for myself in the future. Instead of just spending it all on my hobby, I've got to spend it on bills too. Otherwise, I'm not going to get to have to keep enjoying the game. Eventually, when this comes out of, you know, when the chain is going to come out of running service for a while, for a lot longer than that. The most of will be still around, but probably won't be running use. They'll go up for sale like everything else did back in the 80s. But that's what they did. We decided to go to our lives and we played down a lot of these. Uh, and so uh, personally, for me, I think a low code can be many. Good serving, serving things in general, that can be good for transforming people around from one end of the country to the other. So, and there's also you've got other line devices, line two, and you've got maybe you're pulling a steam chain or running stuff or something like that, and it's really awesome. Go on to ask what you're keep the speed up. <laughs> I'll zoom back out again. And then I'm going to do a side on one like this. And we can do another side of one like this. Just when I push it out the way a little bit, you guys can sort of watch it go around while I'm watching it here. It takes a lot longer than you think because obviously the, this table is huge and it takes a long time to get around it. But on a small board, it will take a lot of time to get But it is an awesome highway, isn't it? Awesome, awesome stuff. And it is now nearly 8 o'clock. I told you it'd take a while. But I think what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to run another train shortly. I'm going to put this one to bed. Um, 